Welcome everyone to Inside the Fight Post Fight UFC 251 Usman versus Mazda. Um from let's just talk about the main card. Um great card of it was a great card. A lot of good fights, a lot of interesting fights, some very good matchups coming up. Um and we gotta talk about it because uh I think the biggest thing we gotta talk about there was not an island. It wasn't in a beach. It wasn't in. It felt like they were inside a little arena. Um, now I understand it was early in the morning over there. Like I think the main card ended really at 9:40, so I guess I can understand it. But anyway, I was expecting it to be on the beach. It was not. I'm disappointed. Let me know if you're disappointed too. But let's kick things right off. Amanda Ribas taps out Paige Van Zandt. Um, I did predict Amanda was going to win this fight. I felt, um, you know, going into it, she had the momentum going in. Uh, Paige Van Zandt also has not. She is, how I put it, she's just okay in terms of just a, a fighter. Um, no, she tapped early in the first round. Um, no, where does she go after this? I don't know. It's a good question. But, of course, no, this is a big win for Amanda. She was very thrilled, very excited. Um, no, it's a big name for her. So, I, I think uh, they're, Amanda has a bright future ahead of her. Uh, Paige Van Zandt, like I said, um, you know, I, there's something interesting about this whole card in general, which possibly could explain some of the issues that some people have. But, um, I don't know. I don't know what's next for her. Um, no, it was a quick match, so I will assume that her turnaround should be pretty quick. Um, I'm sure she'll want to get back into the octagon, and, and just, you know, she might have had rust. I mean, it's been over a year. Um, no, sometimes this happens, and you just gotta just overcome it. Next up, Rose Namajunas, uh, edges out Jessica Andrade, um, in what was practically almost like their first fight in many ways um rose started very strong in the first two rounds and then that third round she definitely got hurt um she suffered i think a broken nose her her eyes were basically popped you know, like bloop. but um it was a good fight uh jessica has a chin for sure she got hit with a couple shots but just like the first fight she had the power she brought the power um and this fight goes another round. I think Rose might have not made it. So, just, uh, you know, like, this is why three-round fight versus a five-round fight, um, it's very, very different. Because if you go into a fourth round, I think Rose loses this fight easy. Um, but in this case, it was, uh, no, she as she got the decision. Um, now, does she get a towel shot next? Yeah, why not? Give her the towel shot. I mean, it's not gonna matter. Uh, she didn't know it'll be, a, it'll be a brand new fight to everyone. And um, Jessica, you know, no hard feelings. Uh, she fought hard. She fought well. And um, you no, know, and she'll be right back into that contain uh, the number one spot, basically. Pito Ayan is your new UFC bantamweight champ. He defeats Jose Aldo. Uh, he uh, and this had a little controversy in the sense that. Uh, in the very first round, there was a moment where you could have possibly stopped this fight. Uh, no, and I say, wow, good job on the referee not to stop this fight because Jose Otto put in a, a show that basically said, I'm not done. I still have it. Um, but I think the biggest thing for Jose Otto is his leg kicks. He used them in the beginning and just they disappeared throughout the fight. Um, he doesn't have that... that Fear that people used to have on him before. I felt like before he used to come in there, he was kicking you, he was punching you, and he didn't care. He would throw those viciously, and here it just felt like he was afraid to throw things. Um, no, uh, Pitori got to give him credit. He um, that last uh, last round, he you no, know, we already knew entering that round that Jose Aldo was gassed. Uh, he was done. Uh, and all you needed was, was just a little bit more to just finish it. And he did. Congratulations on him for taking that. Um, you know, what happens to Jose? Oh, I mean, no, like I said, um, I think the best days of his are past. 
but um, you know, Pitor, congratulations. Uh, there are many fights in that division that are uh, awaiting you, and uh, no, good luck. And what has to be the most controversial decision? Um, I thought it was bullshit, but it kept me on the right in terms of my predictions because Alexander Wolskonowski retained his title against Max Holloway. Um, I thought Holloway won this fight. Uh, I thought he did enough to win this fight. You know, I, you know, I had, um, I had Alexander down 3-1 entering that last round. Amazingly, he won. You no, know, I, I think it was a bad decision. Uh, I would like to see these guys fight again. These guys definitely... Uh, how do I put it? It wasn't a fun fight, especially because Max Holloway is not that type of fighter. No, he's a lot of, uh, no, like, lanky and, and just, you know, throwing the side punches to him. Uh, and, and then some blood kicks here and there. But, you know, nothing spectacular. Especially when someone could take it. Uh, and I, I'm like, you gotta give him credit. No, the guy, his size of, he uses Max Holloway's size advances against Alexander is uh, humongous. It's just pretty big. Um, and he cut him down. Uh, he busted him open a couple times. Uh, and he took advances uh, that, you know, he was, he won. It was, what am I saying? He won. You know, um, I might not, you know, I might not agree with the decision. But a judge said he won, and a few people online said he won. So, and a few people tweeted, congratulations. He stole this from the uh, the last round. Um, and congratulations. No, it's a successful title reign. Uh, it's a title defense. And I got to give him credit in the world. Uh, Max Holloway, though, like I said, uh, I, I could easily see them giving him another rematch. But maybe not. No. Um, no. Three fights in a row, it's a little weird. So let's give Alexander another, another opponent. Uh, Max Holloway will drop down a little bit and he'll fight someone up and coming maybe uh, no, the number one or two ranked person and we'll see we'll see what happens well not number one because then once you fight Alexander two or three two or three and then your main event Kuaru Usman defends uh, his title against Mazaval um, I predicted this um, it, it wasn't pretty it was not a fun fight. It was not a... It was basically a Carl Usman fight. Which is, no... no basically dominate you. Control you. throughout the whole type. Uh, I will give um, Jorge uh, some credit. He got in some, a lot of shots. He definitely, um, you know, was trying to push that fight. Whenever he could push the fight. But unfortunately, you know... Um, no, Carl Usman just way too strong. And, um... No, he didn't, he didn't, how would I put it? I think he won every round, basically. Uh, if there was a round that he might have lost, maybe the first, but, you know, it was a dominating win. No, I, I gave him all five rounds. And, um, no, it, this guy's a, this guy's a man. I mean, his record speaks for itself. Um, you know, and, and three fantastic no fighters, he just easily beats them. Uh, what's next for him? I don't know. I don't know who could take on him. No, he he he's basically he has a chin, so no one can say because Jorge did him hit him a lot of times, connected lovely a couple shots, took it. Um, yeah, and like I said, uh, Jorge, no, good fighter, fun fighter. Um, no, he, he no. I, I didn't think he was gonna win this. He didn't win it. That's pretty much it I could say. Well, guys, I hope you enjoy Fight Island. Not in a Fight Island, but you know, UFC Fight Island 251. Uh, it was a good overall pay per view. Um, you know, three title fights, and you no, know, if you consider the the women's match, basically like a, a fourth main event, because that was that was an, uh, a great fight. It's a good show. It's a good show. Um, the prelims were pretty good as well. And, um, no, we got another UFC on Wednesday and another one on the following Saturday. Uh, it's more Fight Island fights. Well, guys, that's all I got for you. So I hope you enjoy. Uh, have a wonderful weekend. Stay healthy. Stay safe. And until the next time, I'll come back here with another UFC recap. 
next week.